hello there everyone welcome back to the new video in this video we are going to implement the logger at the chain code side so lag loggers are very important to check the logs what exactly going on inside the chain code uh, so let's jump into the vs code yeah uh, there there could be a multiple logger libraries uh, previously there used to be a logger inside the seam but right now i couldn't find that so another one library is there that is the github.com slash hyperj slash fabric slash common slash f logging so i have implemented the logging part using this logger f logging so what exactly we have to do for implementing this logger first of all import this package just copy and paste this package here inside the imports after that this logger will be available but but for that we have to install that logger as well in the vendor folder so i will let you know how we can do that and once we have this logger we have to create the instance of this logger where logger equals to f logging dot must get logger and we can uh, uh, we can name any logger using this string or maybe you can implement your own as per your chain code name next thing now we can implement this logger logger dot error so there are different type of level logging levels for uh, we can see i will i will show you here logger dot so you can see here critical critical ef panic debug debug ef error fatal info warning notice panning there are lot of things are there you can you can play around this yeah so we will will be printing like this first in the chain code this is just a testing purpose uh, for error we will this is error message info information so you will be printing here information of the function which just we have extracted here arguments we can probably uh, print here length of our arguments critical this is a critical this is a critical message this is warning message this is a debug message so how we'll check how it get printed on the console so let's, let's just start it so let's start it so we have implemented this part here so the first thing our network is up and running if i'm not wrong no our, our network is not up and running so i'm running our network docker compose up in a detached mode this will run all the containers after that we have to create a channel as well once our network is up and running i will create a channel and this flow is almost same for most of the videos so make sure that you are doing it properly or you can keep this one 10 or 30 second 10 to 30 second cd go to the back and here we have create channel dot hs yeah we have created and joined the channel as well clear now what we have to do we have one function here in deploy chain code dot hs so what exactly is doing it's rendering it's uh, downloading all the dependencies so we will run this method right now i have commented all the other methods at the bottom and i will be running the say exactly one method peer setup what exactly is doing it's downloading all the dependencies inside the vendor module let's run that deploy chinko dot hs sorry deploy chinko dot hs it's rendering and it will download all the info uh, all the dependencies so now we can see inside yeah here in vendor as per our package where exactly it is github dot com here hyperledger fabric common and here we have logger 
so make sure that you have downloaded properly once we have run this command successfully just comment this because this will not require again and again and whenever we are, you are adding any new package here so make sure to run this command peer setup yeah so now we can run all the functions in deploychinko.sh so I'm, i will be uncommenting this part so this again this part is doing inst packaging chain code installing instantiating querying invoking initializing invo initializing invoking querying all these things so we'll be doing here deploychinko.sh Again, pack chain code installed on both endorsing pairs approved this all the info this all these method will get triggered one by one we can see the output on the terminal as per your as per your resource configuration or your machine configuration this process could be faster than mine mine is little slower chain code is installed on the peer 0 next one it will install on peer 0 or 2 this is the common procedure throughout i will be following for all the video again install yep, approved commit checking commit readiness again approved chain code invocation successful that is first one is the initialize this is the invoke and this is the query last one is the query yeah now we can see the logs first of all we'll check the docker container docker ps yeah these first two containers are the chain code containers so we can check the logs for these containers docker logs dev or peer 0 or 1 just hit tab uh, we'll select which is currently running 4 and we'll follow just clearing the screen and we'll be doing the same yeah here we can see this is the invoke this is the in, uh, error message which will be colored like this for the information it's like this error like this warning is a different color you can see this different things for the critical red color is there and uh, here initialize laser function uh, so we got a string you can see we have printed function name is initialize laser in this way we can uh, we can invoke one transaction as well let's see first of all register user our channel our gateway is not up and running api 1.4 node at .js. yeah our api server is up and running now we can register user and for invoking the transaction because we will be required json web token yeah, we got the json wave token and we'll add a car authorization update and we're adding this car super car and we can check the logs here here yeah i'm invoking now you can see this log this will logs will get printed when we know any transactions you can print these logs anywhere in the fun in these functions so as per your requirement in case if you're facing an issue just let me know in a comment section i will try to help thank you so much for watching this video in case if you're enjoying this video just like this video and subscribe the channel thank you